Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, cherry buns. Come on, let's get busy. Silly today. Do you know why? Why? Because today is tell a joke day, and that's when we play silly tricks like <laughs> whoopee cushions <laughs> and <laughs> clowns' horns. Now I'll tell you a joke and see if you think it's funny. Are you ready? Yeah. I say, I say, I say. What do you call a happy hippopotamus? I don't know. Ah. Uh, Happy Potamus! <laughs> Silly. Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Jack with Rudy. Hello there. Rudy! Hi, Granny Murray. Hello there and Jack. Well done. Three we come. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. Sounds like a joke shop in here. <laughs> oh, well, we've been practising for tell a joke day. <gasps> wow! Oh, I like the sound of that. OK. <clears throat> I say, I say, I say. Where did the sheep go to get a haircut? I don't know. The barbers. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you all dress Claude up as a funny man? I say, I say, I say. Why did the bicycle fall over? It was too tired. Oh. <laughs> oh, I need to sit down after that. <laughs> oh, me too. My tummy aches from laughing. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Oh, Rudy, do you want to pull a cracker with me for tell a joke day? Oh, yeah, go on. There's always a joke inside a cracker. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, I say. What noise does a cat make in a racing car? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly. I'll remember that one to tell my customers. You know, my Angus was a proper joker, but sometimes he took it too far. Oh, what do you mean? Well, once he and his big band were playing at a dance, and he stopped the music and said, <clears throat> Gentles and ladymen, I shall now play for you the Waterfall Symphony. <laughs> <laughs> then he took out a big hose pipe and soaked everyone in the dance floor. <gasps> Some of the dancers were very cross. Oh, you see, you should always know when it's time to stop. Hey, and I think we should stop chatting and go and check Claude out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh um, Rudy, come and smell Claude's flower. <clears throat> okay. Dust! <laughs> oh, oh, so through. Oh. <laughs> Jack, you little whoopy snapper. <laughs> Is that for me? Yeah. Oh, I'll have some fun with this at work, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> right. See you all later. Come on. Bye bye. <laughs> now remember, always know when it's time to stop. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? Oh, there's no time to walk today. Can you tell me a quicker way to get to work? Thanks. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in, in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a trip in a taxi. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the streets now. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Winding, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaking, 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 slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the street now, squeaking, squeaking to a stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Phew, thanks for that. Now what? Ah, yeah, I need to put on my work clothes. <laughs> All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to have some fun at work today. <laughs> Morning, Rudy. Oh, hello, Mickey John. Hey, have you heard what day it is today? Yep, it's tell a joke day. I say, I say, I say. What do you get when a cow's got hiccups? Milkshake. 
<laughs> what do you call a donkey with three legs? A wonky! <laughs> a wonky! <laughs> a wonky. <laughs> oh, Mickey John. Oh, I wish every day was tell a joke day. Yeah, I expect you'll be telling jokes to your customers all day, won't you? Oh, you try and stop me. I can't wait. How about giving away a joke with everything you sell? Where would I get the jokes from? Well, as it happens, I've got a huge collection of cracker jokes. I've been saving them up since I was ten. I'll drop them by and you can put one in every bag. Back soon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wonder how my little joker Jack's getting on today. <laughs> I'd love to skip in River Sea Pingo, River Sea Pingo, by the sea. I'd love to skip in River Sea Pingo, River Sea Pingo, that's yeah. Oh, now you look like Tina Taxi. <laughs> you put that on then, because that's what Raymond goes on the train, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's a bad cop. What else do we have in here? That's right. Oh! It's right down to the ground. What a lot of silly sausages. Is that nice? Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, Jack, I wish Dad was here to share the giggle. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing in the market, Daddy? I'm back, Rudy. Oh, hello, Mickey John. Hey, did you bring those cracker jokes? Yep. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> what does a farmer use to mend a hole in his trousers? Oh, I don't know. A cabbage patch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll put one in every bag. Yeah, okie dokie. Right, well, i better get back to school. See ya. <laughs> See ya later, Mickey John. Right, and I'd best get down to some hard work. And dooby dooby doo, I make it look easy. What I dooby dooby doo, and what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew but it's more than meets the eye what I do for you as I buy and buy while you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat and the flowers in the early hours so when wake up comes it's there for you the market stalls are there to view Oh, the market, the market, what a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people, the smiles on each face oh, The market, the market, come look around oh, The hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about the smell's all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Hello, Rudy Hey, hello, Bobby Hey, you heard any jokes today? Um. Kind of. Here, hold out your hands. Oh, OK. <laughs> what the...? <laughs> Is it real? Had you fooled? No, it's a rubber worm, but it looks just like a real one. <laughs> it feels just like a real worm, too. <laughs> oh, where did you get it? Oh, Kai's got loads of them from this joke shop, and I'm getting a bit fed up with finding them around the house, so I thought you might put them to some good use. Here, <laughs> there's 20 in there. Oh, brilliant, Bobby. Don't worry, I'll find a use for them. <laughs> I'm sure you will. See ya! See you later, Bobs. Oops. <laughs> oh, naughty me. <laughs> oh, rubber worms, eh? <laughs> I wonder what you're wriggling about doing now, Jack. You think Dad's having as much fun as us today? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm going to play a joke that will really make Jack laugh when I tell him about it. <laughs> I'm going to hide all of these rubber worms in the fruit and veg. <laughs> right. Oh, 
Hello there, Doc. What can I get for you? Two juicy apples, please. Oh, two juicy apples coming right up. Hey, Doc, I say, I say, I say, what's worse than finding a maggot in your apple? I don't know. <laughs> finding half a maggot in your apple? Oh, very good. That's part of Tell a Jake Day, I suppose. Oh, yep. And you get a free joke in every bag. <laughs> oh, great. I like a good laugh. Oh, in that case, I'll give you an extra bonus joke. <laughs> There you go, Doc. Two lovely juicy apples. And that'll be 50 pence, please. Thanks, Rudy. Oh, oh. <laughs> maybe you should check and see I've given you the right apples first. Oh, all right. Oh, 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 there's a worm in the bag. <laughs> it's not a real worm, Doc. <laughs> it's a rubber worm. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> well, I don't think that's very funny, Rudy. What if I'd taken a bite and eaten a bit of rubber worm? Then I would have got an upset tummy. That's a joke too far. Keep your apples. Goodbye. But, but, Doc! Oh, what have I done? I've been working hard all day trying to make my customers laugh because it's tell a joke day, and, oh, I've gone and upset my, my best customer. What will I do? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. They were making funny noises with a whoopee cushion. The children dressed Claude up as a funny man. Granny Murray told me it was tell a joke day. We had a great giggle. At eight o'clock, I got to work and started to unpack my stall. At nine o'clock, Mickey John called by and we told each other funny jokes. I laughed and laughed. Mickey John had an idea. I could give away a free joke to every customer. At 10 o'clock, Mickey John came back with a whole bag of cracker jokes for me to put into the fruit and veg bags. Then at three o'clock, Bobby arrived and played a joke on me. She put a worm in my hand, but it wasn't real. It was a joke rubber worm. She left me a whole bag of rubber worms to have some fun with. At four o'clock, I decided to put the rubber worms all over my stall as a joke. I thought Jack would think it was hilarious, but Dr. Juno didn't. When I put a rubber worm in her bag of apples, she screamed. She said she didn't want to buy my apples after all. She went off in a huff. I've upset my best customer. What can I do? Now remember, always know when it's time to stop. Always know when it's time to stop. That's it. I need to find all of these rubber worms and put them back in the bag before I make one joke too many. I've got one of the worms here, which leaves 19 more to find before my next customer arrives. <laughs> right, it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's a show us we are friends. He will get there in the end. Because he knows what he should do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. He's going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. <laughs> Phew. I managed to find all 20 worms. And now they're safely back in the bag. <laughs> <clears throat> um, hiya, Rudy. I'm sorry I flew off the handle like that. No, earlier. no, no, Doc, it was my fault. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I was just a bit shocked, that's all. Oh, no, 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 you were right. We don't want anybody swallowing any rubber worms. I know now when a joke's got to stop. And here are two lovely juicy apples. Absolutely free and absolutely free of worms. Oh, thank you, Rudy. <laughs> See you later. See you later, Doc. <laughs> oh... Wonder if Jack's got a smile on his face now. Let's play a game of Jelly Giggle. Do you want to? Yeah. Now, we have to eat our jelly and look into each other's eyes, but we mustn't laugh. Are we ready? Yeah. Serious face? No laughing? Go! <laughs> Honestly, I bet Dad wishes he was here for a jelly giggle. Oh, it's all wibbly wobbly. I want to be with you, Daddy. Rudy! Have a wee 
Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Mama. Hey, give us a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank oh. you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Always know when it's time to stop. And it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. I'm looking forward to next time. <laughs> me too. Hi. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a funny man because today was Tell a Joke Day. The children told some brilliant jokes and made some funny noises too. Rudy told me some jokes as well. Then the children and I dressed up in silly clothes. We mixed them all up. <laughs> we looked hilarious. And when we went to the park, we had more fun. We tried to see who could do the funniest silly walk. Back at home, Jack and I had bowls of jelly, so we played Jelly Giggle. It was impossible to keep a straight face. Later, Rudy said he remembered about knowing when it was time to stop. So everything had a happy ending. Come closer if you want to smell my flower. <laughs> oh, did I squirt you? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, my wee cream buns. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves? You sit here, Rachel. And you'll see oh, what's in the treasure box. Pearls and beets and gold. We need to sort it into piles because we're going to give it to Dr. Juno for her jumble sale. That's for you, Dr. Juno. Have a good rummage. <laughs> well, we've got Stephen and we've got Rachel. Someone's missing from home today. Come on, Jack. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rudy with Jack. Hello there. <laughs> Rudy, hello. Hi, Granny Murray. And Jack. Oh, I've been squeezing. <laughs> Come on, my darling. Here we go, guys. Woo! Can you at least step in our treasure? Oh, that wasn't very clever, was it? So, what sort of treasure have you got? Oh, it's not really treasure, is it, my darling? It's just odds and ends. We're hoping to raise lots of money for Dr. Juno's Animal Welfare Fund. Oh, well, I hope it raises money too. <gasps> Why don't you all dress Claude up as a security guard to guard their treasure? <laughs> That's us. And we can go for a chat at the chairs, but wait! I better punch in the special security code first. <laughs> beep, beep, beep! Is the security door open, Granny Murray? Come on, it's let's go in. Oh, <laughs> 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 Talking about security guards, it reminds me I've got to get to the bank today to get rid of all my change from the stall. Are you remembering the bank closes early today? Oh, I am. It's not a problem, though. I've already sorted it all out into the right bags. 20 peas in one bag, 50 peas in another. Oh, you're a clever boy. Well done, Dumpling. That'll save you time. <laughs> do you know something that's always amazed me, Rudy? How do you know what all the different coins are if you can't see them? Oh, it's pretty simple, really, Granny Murray. I mean, all the coins are different shapes and sizes. So the small ones with the flat edges, like that, Look, they're 20p's. And the big ones with the flat edges, they're 50p's. The small fat ones are a pound. Of course. I just sort all of my change out as I go along. And that way, I don't get in the muddle. Oh, you don't have one of those clever change sorting machines. You pour all your change in the top and it sorts it out into all different coins at the bottom. Oh, one of those. I've got one knocking about somewhere, but I never use it. It's just a dusty bit of junk, really. Hey, 
Maybe I could give it to Dr. Juno for a jumble sale. Oh, you should be careful what you throw away. You might need it the next day. What? Like old mouldy cheese? What would I need old mouldy cheese for the next day? Oh, you, that <laughs> trickster. <laughs> oh, Claude looks like he's guarding our treasures. Come on. Oh, do you want to search me, Claude? Make sure I haven't got Granny Murray's handbag shoved up my jumper. <laughs> oh, Rudy, are you ever serious? <laughs> Very smart, Claude. Right, I'd best be off to work now. Get Daddy. to the market. Yes. Um, I've got something What's... for you. <gasps> What's this? Oh, a coin holder for 20 pences. <laughs> that wouldn't be so I save up 20 pences for your pocket money, would it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pop that in me bag. <laughs> right, give us a cuddle. <laughs> ah, you behave yourself. See you later, kids. Come on, Liddy. Now remember, be careful what you throw away. You might need it the next day. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. You keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I've no time to walk today. Can you tell me a quicker way I can get to work? Thanks. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in, in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a trip in a taxi. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the streets now. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Winding, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaking, 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 slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets now. Squeaking, squeaking to a stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Thanks for that. Now what? All right, I've got to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, hey, Rudy. Oh, am I your first customer? Hello, Bobby. Yes, you are. Great. Can I have um, one cabbage and two apples, please? Your wish is my command. So, what are you up to this morning? Oh, loads. Um, I'm just off to the library to get a new book for Kai and then I'm going to take him swimming down at Splash and Swim and then after that I'm going to the gym for a practice with the Bobettes. Oh, you must be pretty fit to do all that. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess I am. Hey, it's all thanks to the healthy food I buy from your stall, Rudy. <laughs> oh, you're the perfect advert for the food I sell, Bobby. A running, swimming, jumping advert. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? I would be happy to advertise your stall for you, Rudy. Why don't I come back at, say, four o'clock and I could do a gymnastics display? Oh, wow, that'd be great, Bobby. Oh, y you couldn't make it three o'clock, though, could you? Only I've got to get to the bank and it should sit four. Yeah, no problem. OK. Oops, Sit. nearly forgot my shopping. <laughs> That's £1.20, please. There you go. Thanks, Rudy. See you later, Bobby. Oh, a 20p. That'll do for Jack. Wonder what you're up to now, Jack. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Oh, look at this, Jack. How's Jones on it? Oh, of course you can, my darling. Here you go. Thanks. Jump up. Good boy, keep safe. Clever boy, what do we tell your dad about this? Beep beep. I'm dreaming of you, Daddy. How's my favourite market trader? <laughs> Hello, Doc. You got the morning off? Oh, yes and no. I'm not working at the hospital today, but I am still quite busy organising the jumble sale. Oh, I heard all about that. Uh, what's it raising money again for, exactly? Actually, it's for all the animals that don't have a home and need looking after. <sighs> to be honest, I don't think I've got anything to give to the jumble sale, though. Well, you might think of something, so I'll leave this jumble bag with you to fill, just in case. <laughs> all right, Doc. I'll catch you later. Thanks, Rudy. Bye. Oh, I want to give something to Dr Juno's jumble sale. But what? <laughs> I'll have to have a think, and in the meantime, get down to some hard work. And doobie doobie doo, I make it look easy. What I doobie doobie doo, and what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy. 
while you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat and the flowers in the early hours so when wake up comes it's there for you the market stalls are there to view oh the market the market what a wonderful place oh, the hub of the people the smiles on each face oh, the market the market come look around Oh, the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful Just getting all my change sorted to take to the bank. 50 p's, one pounds. All sorted and in order. And I didn't even need my change sorting machine. <laughs> oh, I told Granny Murray this morning I never used this. <laughs> Ugh, it's a bit dusty. Hey, maybe I could give this to Dr. Juno's jumble sale. <laughs> That's what I'll do. There we go. Just an orange, thanks. 30p. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, and that was a 20p, Jack. We'll pop that in here. <laughs> You'll be rich at this, right? <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. That's the way, my darlings. Thanks, Megan. Good boy, Sean. There we are. Oh, the table's quite busy. <laughs> My goodness, I didn't know I had all this jungle in the house till I tidied Ooh. out my cupboards. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. Oh, me too. It was awful nice of Dr. Juno to let us help her with the jumble sale, wasn't it? Yeah. Are you having fun, Daddy? <gasps> Here I am, Rudy. Raring to go to advertise your stall. Oh, we are going to clean up, mate. I hope you're ready to fill your tills. <laughs> I am, Bobby. Great. OK, go. OK. <clears throat> um, ladles and jelly spoons. Um, run to Rudy's for the healthiest fruit and veg in the whole market. Um, but don't just take my word for it. Watch the amazing Bobby doing an incredible acrobatics display. <laughs> you two can be fit as a fiddle, or should I say as bouncy as Bobby Bobby. Woohoo! Hey. And now for the grand finale. <gasps> that sounded like my money bags. Oh, Rudy. Oh, crumbs, I am so sorry. The coins <sighs> have gone everywhere and they're all mixed up. Oh, Bobby. I've been working hard all day and I had all my money sorted into bags to take to the bank before it closes and... What went wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. They were sorting treasure out into piles for Dr Juno's jumble sale. At nine o'clock, Bobby came to buy some fruit and veg. She looked very fit and told me she was off to run and swim and do gymnastics. She offered to put on a gymnastics display later to advertise my stall. At 10 o'clock, Dr Juno called past with some charity bags. She was collecting for her jumble sale to raise money to look after homeless animals. At 2 o'clock, I decided to give my old change sorter machine to Dr Juno's jumble sale, so I put it in her charity bag. Then at 3 o'clock, Bobby arrived to do her gymnastics display. It was fantastic and really drew the crowds. But then she accidentally knocked open all my money bags. They burst open and now my coins are all mixed up and scattered everywhere. I'll never get to the bank on time now. What will I do? Now remember, be careful what you throw away. You might need it the next day. Be careful what you throw away. You might need it the next day. Oh! I think you found something for my jumble cell. Thanks, Rudy. Oh, hello, Doc. I'm really sorry, but I think I'm going to need what's in that bag after all. Oh. <laughs> oh, Granny Murray was right. 
I do need my change sorter. I've got to sort all this change quickly before the bank shuts. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, thanks, Bobs. And thanks, Doc. Now I'm sorted. I'm off to the bank. Oh, have you got any more jumble for me? Well, you can't have my change, Sorter. I think I'll be needing that. Um, oh, how about my old beret? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I haven't worn it in ages. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Right, OK, Bobby, let's get to the jumble sale. OK. <laughs> Bye, see you later. Bye. Right, and I'm off to the bank. Oh. Phew, got here just in time. Can I pay this change in, please? Yeah, oh. Ooh. <laughs> And one more 20 pence. That one's for you as well, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. There oh, you go. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, come on, let's go and have a nosy. Hello, Dr. Juno. How's the jumble seal going? Oh, brilliantly. We've raised lots of money for the homeless animals. Oh, that's good. Jack, do you see anything you like? The hat. <gasps> How much for the birdie? 20 pence. I think we can manage it. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are, Jack. <gasps> Do you think you look like your dad? Yeah. Me too. Ready? Come on, we in. Hi, Granny Murray. So good to see you, Jack. Hello, Dad. mate. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time with Granny Murray. Yeah, we yeah. certainly did. <laughs> Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, pleasure, my darling boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me. Be careful what you throw away. You might need it the next day. It saved the day. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Well, we'd better get you two home. <laughs> Come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. <laughs> me too. Bye -bye. Hey, come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a security guard because we were sorting out all sorts of treasures to give to Dr Juno's jumble sale. Then I took Jack out and he really wanted to go on a ride. Popped in the right coin and off it went. Then we looked around my flat and found lots of old stuff to take to Dr Juno's jumble sale. It was good fun helping to set everything up. When the jumble sale opened, I had a look round with Jack he saw a berry that looked just like the one his dad used to have. So we bought it and Jack looked the spitting image of Rudy. And Rudy remembered that you should be careful what you throw away because you might need it the next day, just like his change sorter. 20 pence into the piggy. <laughs> I always put all my loose change into the piggy bank. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, I've got my Megan. But don't just sit there, fruit scone. Come on, let's get busy. You tell Granny Murray some of your favourite foods and we'll glue them on there. I like chaps. Oh, 
Ooh, sausages. <laughs> and I like potatoes. What about some raspberries? Do you like those? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get gluing. You stick them on, my darling. Well, I've got my Megan. And someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Rudy with Jack. Hello there. Rudy. Hi, Granny Murray. Well done. There we go. <laughs> there you go, Jack. <laughs> We're making up crazy plates of food. We're putting all our favourite foods on the same plate. Oh, and that sounds like something that Pierre Shinana gonna cook up. You know, the famous celebrity chef. Oh yes, I've seen him on the telly. Why don't you all dress Claude up as Pierre Shinana? Hey. <laughs> That's a good girl, Megan. And we can steam over to the chairs. And see what's on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what's all this about Pierre Shenanigan? Oh, you know that Pierre Shenanigan is a very, very famous chef, right? Yes. Oh, well, he's coming to the market to do a cookery demonstration at my stall. Oh, he's going to cook up a brilliant recipe out of all of my veg. But I thought Pierre Shenanigan was famous for puddings, not for vegetable recipes. He's just so incredibly famous, everybody's going to want his autograph. Oh, he's just on television nearly every day. He's on Express Cook, cook a doodle do pass the pudding. Hoots, man, what's but, cooking? But, 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 <laughs> Isn't Pierre Shenanigan a wee bit hot-headed? I mean, doesn't he fly off the handle at the drop of a scone? Oh, he's just so totally, utterly and completely very, very, very famous. Yes, but fame isn't everything. Oh, I can't wait to meet him. Well, now you can. Claude looks exactly like Pierre Shenanigan. <laughs> There we are. Oh, the famous celebrity chef. Right, I'd best be off to work. Dad? What's that, Jack? It's a star. Wow, brilliant. Oh, I'll take this with me to work and I'm gonna give it to my famous celebrity visitor. You wanna cuddle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be good for Granny Murray? Yeah. Yeah. Of See you later, kids. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Come on. Bye, then. Daddy. Now remember, fame isn't everything. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? Oh, there's no time to walk today. Can you tell me a quicker way to get to work? Thanks. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in, in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a trip in a taxi. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the streets now. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Winding, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaking, 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 slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets now. Squeaking, squeaking to a stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Phew, thanks for that. Now what? Ah, yeah, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, I can't believe the Pierre Shenanigan, the famous celebrity chef, is coming here to my stall. Morning, Rudy. Oh, hello, Raymond. <laughs> What's cooking? I am, <laughs> or I will be. I need a fresh cauliflower for Lisa's favourite tea. Cauliflower cheese. It's one of my specialities, actually. Sounds good. And it tastes good. Actually, you should come around and try it. Oh, I will do, Raymond, but not today. You see, I'm waiting for an incredibly famous guest to come here to the stall. Oh, who? Only Pierre Shenanigan. No. Not the celebrity chef. Yeah, he's coming here to the stall to do a cookery demonstration later on. Oh, gosh, well, I'll have to come along and get his autograph. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, uh, to support a fellow artiste. Oh, could you do me a favour? Um, would you ask Tina if she would mind picking Pierre up from the train station um, in a taxi and bringing him here to the market? He gets in at three o'clock. I'm sure Tina will be delighted to deliver such a famous star. Well, mm -hmm. I'll go and tell her. Little Pip. All right, uh, Raymond. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, Rudy. <laughs> See you later. Oh, <laughs> wonder how my little star's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Oh, here I come. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
think Dad wishes he was here, eh, Jack? Yes! Are you working hard, Dad? How's my favourite market trader? <laughs> Hello, Doc. You just finished work? Yeah, that's right. I'm just home to take Samson for a walk, but I need a cabbage for my dinner later. I'm making coleslaw. One cabbage coming up. Oh. That'll put some colour back in your cheeks. <laughs> that is if you want green cheeks. <laughs> You're the cheeky one. <laughs> oh, oh, listen. After you've taken Samson for a walk, you must come back here. You'll never guess who's coming to my store later to do a cookery demonstration. Who? Pierre Shenanigan. What? The Pierre Shenanigan? Wow. I'll definitely try and make it back to see that. See you later. All right, Doc. Bye. See you later. Right. And if I'm going to be tied up with my incredibly famous guest later, I'd better get down to some hard work. And do be do be do I make it look easy. What I do be do be do And what I do is sell to you and you and you All of the veggies for a stew But it's more than meets the eye What I do for you as I buy and buy while you still sleep, those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes, it's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh, the market, the market, what a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people, the smiles on each face oh, The market, the market, come look around oh, The hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling Cheap or dear The market, the market I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Get the sign down and store closed Hi, Rudy. <laughs> Oh, hello, Bobby. <laughs> Can I get a bag of spinach, please? Well, I have just closed the stall, but for you, Bob's anything. Oh, thanks, Rudy. I have heard that spinach is really good for you, but I don't really know how to cook it. Have you got any ideas? Oh, well, in that case, why don't you pop back later and ask my incredibly famous guest, Pierre Shenanigan. <laughs> Pierre Shenanigan? What, the really famous TV chef? Yeah! Oh, wow! I love him. Right, I'll definitely be back for that. <laughs> what time is he on? Just after three o'clock, Bobs, but you better get here early. The place is going to be chock-a-block. OK, thanks. I'll do that. All right, see you later, Bobs. Right. <laughs> oh, Pierre Shenanigan will expect star treatment, so I've rolled out the red carpet. <laughs> oh, I hope you're getting on famously, Jack. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Here we are. Mm. La la la. Are you still in your dinner, Jack? Yeah. Do you want to have some carrots? Let's put some carrots in. Mmm. Put the potatoes in for Granny Money. Now will they make the meat not too hot? No. I can I have some? Mmm. <laughs> I wonder if your dad's learning some new recipes with Pierre Shenanigan. Are you having fun, Daddy? The crowd's building up. Pierre Shenanigan should be here any time soon. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Hi, Rudy. Tina, where's Pierre? Oh, I'm sorry. Bad news. No Pierre. Oh. <gasps> I was there in plenty of time to meet him. So, what happened? He took one look at my taxi and he said, That is a pink taxi. I'm not riding in a pink taxi. I expect a limousine. And then he turned around, got on the train and went home. Oh. Talk about grumpy. I don't believe it. I've been working really, really hard all day trying to get everything ready for the visit of the incredibly famous Pierre Shenanigan. The crowd's here and he doesn't bother to show up. What went wrong? Where did the time go? 
At seven o'clock, I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. They were making plates of crazy food. I told Granny Murray that Pierre Shenanigan, the famous celebrity chef, was coming to my stall. So the children dressed Claude up as Pierre Shenanigan. At eight o'clock, I got to work and started to unpack my stall. Raymond arrived to buy a cauliflower. He said he was brilliant at making tasty cauliflower cheese. I asked him if Tina could collect Pierre Shenanigan from the station in her taxi. At 10 o'clock, Dr. Juno bought a cabbage. And when I told her about Pierre Shenanigan, she was thrilled. At 2 o'clock, I was just closing my stall when Bobby arrived to buy some spinach. And when I told her I was getting ready for Pierre Shenanigan's visit, she wanted to see him too. At 3 o'clock, Tina arrived, but without Pierre Shenanigan. She told me he didn't want to travel in her pink taxi, so he'd gone home. What can I do? Now remember, fame isn't everything. Hmm, remember, fame isn't everything. Ah, perhaps I don't need a famous celebrity chef after all. Tina, have you got a minute? Uh, well, not really, Rudy. You see, Raymond's got a lovely cauliflower cheese waiting for me at home. Mmm, they're delicious. <laughs> exactly. And how do you think Raymond would like to be a celebrity chef for the day? <gasps> oh, I'm sure he would love it. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Good, because it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Ladies and gentlemen, now with his recipe for cauliflower cheese, our celebrity chef today is Raymond! Woo! 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 No. Woo! First, you boil the cauliflower a little bit. Oh. Here's one he boiled earlier. And then you make the cheese sauce with flour, milk, and, of course, grated cheese. Here's a sauce he whipped up earlier. Oh. And then you pour the cheese sauce mm. over the cauliflower. <laughs> and voila! You just pop that in the oven. Oh. And here is a cauliflower cheese he baked earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That was just as good as Pierre Shenanigan. Oh, me, a star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if you're tucking into any yummy grub now, Jack. It's delicious, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. I love cauliflower and cheese. <laughs> Do you know, Raymond gave me this recipe ages ago and I've been meaning to try it for a while. I think he should have one of those cookery programmes, don't you? Yeah. What would we call it? Um, Raymond's Recipe. Oh, good idea, Bella. You can tell your dad that when he comes home, can't yeah. you? Yes. Ruby, come away through. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello. Ruby. Hey, give us a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank oh. you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> oh, and thanks loads from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me, that fame isn't everything, and it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. 
Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and watching round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting. What was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the famous celebrity chef Pierre Shenanigan because Rudy was really excited about a famous chef that was coming to his stall to give a cookery demonstration. And then the children and I went to the park for a run around. Jack really worked up an appetite. When we got home, we pretended to make a delicious stew in our toy kitchen. Then I cooked a real meal cauliflower cheese made to Raymond's special recipe. Oh, it was delicious. And Rudy remembered that fame isn't everything when Raymond came to his stall and saved the day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, frutals. Come on, let's get busy. See? <gasps> yes, we're going to make some special flags. There's a stick. We'll just take this on. Granny Murray's... Oh, who are these children? There's me. And there's me. <laughs> so, now you put lots of glue and stick it on your flag. Push down so it's really stuck hard. This is our Megan flag. Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, yes, it's Jack with Rudy. Hello there! Rudy! Hi, Hi Granny Hello Murray! Hello there! And Jack! Well done! Go on, Maggie! <laughs> Woo, it sounds busy in here! <laughs> oh, it is! There's a lot of waving going on! We'll be making flags, Jack! Woo. Now Jack's here, we'll dress Claude up as an old sea captain! <laughs> Hi. There we are, that's the way! And we can dock ourselves over by the chairs. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am looking forward to taking the children to see the docks. All the boats coming and going. I like to imagine that I'm standing on the deck with a breeze blowing in my face. <laughs> I much prefer to have my feet firmly planted on dry land, Granny Murray. Not like Louie, however. She's been all over the world. She knows everything there is to know about all the different countries. Oh, I'll bet she does. Mm, not like me. I'm a bit of a homebody, I'm afraid. I don't know that much at all, really. <laughs> well, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. <laughs> and speaking of which, I'd better be up in the way to the market. Oh, look at Cat. Captain Claude. There we are. <laughs> Ahoy there, Captain Claude. <laughs> oh, well done, my flowers. I well, best be I off. I've got a flag for you and it's got a picture of me on it. A picture of you? Yes. <gasps> well, I will wave that all day. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thanks, Jack. I'll pop that in me bag and you can give me a cuddle. <laughs> right, have a good day. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> Come on, See Rudy. you later. See you later, Dad. Now remember, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today I'm walking me shoes through the city views I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms I get in there, it's just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know But can you tell me 
the way I go? Hey! OK, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, van. Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know So here we are. Now what? Ah yeah, I need to get changed for work. All dressed and ready to go. Uh. Hi, Rudy. Nice to see you hard at work this early in the morning. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. So, you off to school? Yes, I'm off to teach, but I've still got a lot to learn. You know, it's my philosophy that everyone should learn something new every day. Oh, yeah. I learn tons from all the various people I meet here at the market. Like me, for instance. Oh, <laughs> you've got it, Mickey John. Hey! Maybe you could teach me some fascinating facts about all the things on my stall. You know, facts about fruit and veg and that. Oh, that's a great idea. And we'll start with the potato. Oh, I'm going to love finding out things about the potato. Thanks, Rudy. Oh. I'll go off and make some notes and come right back. See you later, Mickey John. <laughs> I can't wait to tell that to Jack. <laughs> Me hearty. <laughs> oh, your dad would just love it here. I'm getting a bit seasick. Oh, I'm getting seasick too. Oh, wobbly, 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 wobbly. I miss you, Daddy. Hey, Rudy, <laughs> listen to this. Oh, listen to what? Well, I found this great book, The Secret Life of Potatoes. Farmers in the Andes Mountains discovered the potato 7,000 years ago. <laughs> That's Andy. At first, people in this country didn't like the idea of eating potatoes. Why? I don't know. Then everyone started eating potatoes when they realised they had good things in them. Like vitamins, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Plus the fact that they taste really, really good. So let me see if I've got this right. Um, potatoes were discovered by farmers. Um, they were discovered in the Andes. And um, people in this country didn't like to eat them, really, until, well, until they discovered that they were full of vitamins and stuff. Oh, thanks, Mickey John. Right, oh, well, i better get this back to school before the library opens. Oh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> right, and i better get down to some hard work. And do be do be do I make it look easy. What I do be do be do And what I do is sell to you and you and you All of the veggies for a stew But it's more than meets the eye what I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view the market, the market, what a wonderful place. Oh, the hub of the people, the smiles on each face. Oh, the market, the market, come look around. Oh, the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound. The colours all chaotic and spilling about. The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out. Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling Cheap or dear The market, the market I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place 
7,000 meters up the Andes. Uh, oh, no, 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 not meters. Um, 7,000 years ago in the Andes. Oh. Um, you got any water, Chris? Oh, hello, Chuck. Um, oh, you know, do you know, I sold the last one just before. Sorry. How are you? You look a bit stressed. Oh, it's just Mickey John. He told me that I should try and learn something new every day. Sounds good to me. Right. Uh, the potato. <laughs> Um, did you know that the potato was discovered 7,000 years ago um, by some farmers in the, um, in the Andes? Oh, uh, fascinating! Oh, <laughs> that good, eh? Maybe you should think about a way of brightening it up. Just imagine telling it to Jack and make it so that he would enjoy it. Oh, that's a fantastic idea, Chuck. Oh, thanks, I'll try that. I'll see you later then. <laughs> Bye-bye. Right. Got to pretend I'm telling it to Jack. Oh, <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> I wonder what you're up to now, Jack. Wow, do you see that ship over there? Well, that's called a cargo boat, and it's carrying all different things from all over the world. Do you know, I bet it's got some exotic fruits and vegetables in it, Jack. <laughs> they might even end up on your daddy's stall. Are you having fun, Daddy? I hope Jack's having a good time at the docks today. Hi, Rudy. Hi, Rudy. <laughs> oh, hello, Tina. Hang on a minute, love. Let me just serve Tina. Um, how are you doing today, Tina? Oh, I'm fine. In a rush, as usual. Um, I'll take a bag of potatoes, please. Oh, a bag of potatoes, you say? <clears throat> Did you know, Tina, that the potato was discovered 7,000 years ago, high up in the Andes, um, by farmers? Um, and originally, in Europe, the potato... It was... I, 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 I'm sorry, Rudy, but... I really don't have time for this. I'll pop uh, back later. But, Bye, Louis. Bye. But what about your potatoes? Oh, was it something I said? Oh, Rudy, you're going to scare off all your customers if you carry on like that. I know, but, but what did I do wrong? I've, I've been working really hard all day trying to teach my customers interesting facts about fruit and veg, and I do keep on scaring them off. Oh, I'm going to need to do better than this if I want to sell anything today, but, but how? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. The children had been busy making flags because they were going to go to the docks later. They even dressed Claude up like a ship's captain. Jack gave me a lovely flag that he'd made with his picture on it. At seven o'clock, I was getting ready to start work when Mickey John stopped by. He told me he thought it was a good idea for people to learn something new each day. At 8 o'clock, Mickey John came back with a book full of fascinating facts all about potatoes. I decided to try potato facts out on my customers. At 10 o'clock, the first customer I tried it on was Chuck. She thought it was a bit dry and that I should imagine I was talking to Jack to make it more lively. At 1 o'clock, I was telling Tina some interesting potato facts, but she said she didn't have time to listen and she left without buying her potatoes. Now remember, We've all got something to teach, and we've all got something to learn. Hmm. We've all got something to teach, and we've all got something to learn. Well, I've got something to teach, and what I've got to learn is how I can make it more fun. <laughs> Come on, Louis, give us a hand. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's a show us we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, I'm working through I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna sort it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Right, come on ladies and gentlemen Get your fruit and veg from all around the world Learn a little something with everything you buy <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry I had to rush off Oh no, don't worry about it, Tina Hey, listen, what would you like? We have got some lovely juicy oranges from Spain We've got tatties from Scotland We've got apples from England Lovely juicy grapes, all the way from France. Lemons and limes from Greece. And bananas from the West Indies. This is really fascinating. 
I'll take some tatties from Scotland, a bunch of those West Indian bananas, I'll have a bag of Spanish oranges, and I'll have some of those lovely looking French grapes. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Rudy. You certainly taught me something new today. Oh, no, no, no. You're the one that's taught me something, Tina. <laughs> Never bore my customers. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was really interesting. Oh, thanks, Bye. Tina. See you later. Bye. Oh, that was fun. Wonder if Jack's been having fun with Granny Murray. <laughs> my darling. That's us. Do you think these bananas came in one of those boats that we were looking at today? Maybe. Maybe, my darling. <laughs> That's you. Well Thank done. You. Do you know, I know somebody who's not going to be coming across the sea, but he's going to be coming across town to pick you up. Who do you think? Daddy. Yay! Daddy's coming. I want to be with you, Daddy. <laughs> Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Ruby. Hey, give us a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank oh. you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> oh, and thanks loads from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me. We've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. And it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Me too. Hi. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, quaking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing. really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the captain of a ship because we were going down to the river to look at the ships at the docks. The children and I had great fun making our own flags and Jack gave his to Rudy to take to the market. Later on, when Rudy was busy working, I took the children to look at all the different ships in the Transport Museum. Then we saw even more ships when we went to the dockside. We wondered about all the different countries they had come from and what cargo they might be carrying. Jack and I thought that some of them might have been carrying fruit and veg for the market. When Jack and I were enjoying a banana, we wondered if it might have come across the sea on one of the boats we saw today. And Rudy remembered that we all have things to learn and we all have things to teach. Maybe this one came over on one of those boats too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I'd love to skip in River Sea Tingle, River Sea Tingle, bye. I love to skip in River Sea Tingle, River Sea Tingle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, where the fairy folks stand.